Hello guys, welcome back to Mina.com. Today we discuss the Albin Counter Gambit by Black. The sequence starts with Queen's Gambit, d4, d5, c4, and now Black boldly goes e5. The main line here for White is accepting the Gambit. d takes e5, after which Black pushes pawn up to d4. Black's pawn is now nicely located blocking white's development. What should white do? If white tries to push black's pawn away with e3, black first check with bishop to b4 and after white bishop comes for help, black simply takes e3. If you are playing white, don't be tempting to collect black's bishop, as this is the known Lascar's trap. Look, pawn takes check. White can only move up to e2, and now, can you guess? If black promotes to queen, white will first exchange queens with check, and then rook takes the new queen. So, what's the best move for black? That's right, black promotes to knight, checking white, so white can't first exchange queen, queens any longer. From here, White can't take knight as nothing stops black from bishop to g4 and game is over. White therefore must retreat king back and black queen to h4, check. And if white tries g3, boom, check and the rook is falling. So be careful, if you go down this bumpy road after pawn takes e pawn, the only answer is pawn takes pawn, still, as white. Your structure sucks and risky. Going back, 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 we saw why pushing black spawn with e3 is not recommended. The main line is knight to f3, which is developing while looking over d4 and e5. Black will usually develop his knight as well to c6, developing while protecting d4. From here, white will either go with g3 in order to open the hatch for the blocked bishop or a3 in order to block from black bishop check and prepare for attack on queen side. Another common continuation by white is knight to d2 preparing for b3 to put more pressure on the toxic black pawn. In any case, as white you should assume that black will eventually win his lost pawn back, if he plays right, and as soon as you castle king side, he or she will many times castle queen side, which will lead to chaotic game where each side tries to march faster towards the rival's king. Albin counter gambit is called after Adolf Albin, a Romanian who played it against the German world champion Immanuel Lasker in 1893. That's all for now. I hope you enjoyed this episode by Mayna.com, Creativity Through Chess, a part of our Openings for Non-Professional Players series. If you like to get notified on the next episodes, like us on Facebook and visit our site. Also, go check our Amazon store for our unique chess sets, discount coupons available on our site.